Ah, la, la, la. Hi. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Yo. Yo. Hello, Facebook. Holy shit, we got 160 viewers. Boom. Wow. That's, a, that's a new record. Get in. Get in. Get in there. Get in there. Get that in. is what I would like to say. That is what I would call fucking fantastic. Now, <laughs> everyone just starts spamming those hate emotes. Just go spam, spam, spam. <laughs> Welcome everyone. How are we, Welcome, how, how we doing Facebook? How are we doing chat? What's going on? How was your weekend? Uh, what have you been up to chat? Let us know what you've been up to. What did you get up to Lloyd? What have you been doing mate? Um, I've had week two back at the cafe. So that's been, that's been busy. It's been really good. The weather's been nice. Not too many complaints. So um, yeah. And other than that, very little, very little. Haven't had much time to do anything else. Okay. You're, you're you? busy than a cat trying to bury, what was it? <laughs> <laughs> I am busier than a cat bearing shit on concrete. Bang, get in, there you go. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say something then and then I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't. Have no, 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 I no. hate cats. No. I'm allergic busier to than cats. a bricklayer in bed or something like oh, that. Jesus. Yeah. Busier yeah. than a dog with two dicks. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we Jesus we, we peaked. I think you should go quiet again, mate. We've, we've, we've peaked. I'm busy. <laughs> I've been busy. All right. Don't don't, busy. don't poke the bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have you been up to, Uber? What have you been doing? Uh just streaming. Just yep. streaming. Had a really ripper week of streams. It was really good. Took over for you from you on Saturday. Did Childers Fox Saturday. Uh, your community is absolutely wonderful, by the way. It was so good to have so many of them in there and them trying to actually get me plastered, which was mm. not mm. a fun time. They're pretty good then at I, that. Then I happened to run into you at a cafe on Sunday morning and we somehow ended up having breakfast together. It was a little bit romantic, actually. Yeah, it was That's very it was. romantic. Let me, yeah. let me, let me slide yeah. this over. Let me slide I over had here. an omelette. You had some smashed avocado because you're a millennial motherfucker. Um, <laughs> I've turned into one of those people. I have yeah. turned into one of those. Like, each is, there, like, is there egg on this? And she was like, oh, no, it's just avocado on toast. And you were like, outrageous. I want a poached egg. I want, <laughs> I want my poached oh, egg. Yeah. Right, there yeah. go. Go. Outrageous. 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 He was like, do you know who I am? And he like pointed to the Jerdman logo on his shirt. <laughs> you no, see that bus outside? I, I, you I, see I, that bus? That's me. I can, I'm on the side of that bus. I can go and drive that. Yeah. Um, I, she didn't know I was very big in the UK. She didn't realize that. So, you know, what can you do? Excuse we, we, me, is the toast organic? Can I only want... <laughs> It can only have 33 sesame seeds on it. That's it. Please, Every sesame you. seed over that. I the shall kill. Off. Yeah. Don't he you know yeah, who yeah. I am? The Jerdman logo on his Arsenal shirt. That's it's it. there somewhere. You it's, there. It. it's there. It's there. It's, 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 yeah, it's there. It's subtly, subtly he, there. He gave me this hat. He was like, by the way, um, you need to have some merch. And I was like, Jerd, just calm down. I'm no. Like, <laughs> Excuse me. Let me say what. Let me say how this actually little, went down. He has a little briefcase that opens out into this great big merch stand. It's like, yeah, so I he's said. Like, he's, like, he's like the vendor from Resident Evil Four. He's like, "What are you buying, stranger?" Um, and anyone, opens his does it, any, yeah. anyone? Anyone want to shake? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Tim said to me, "He said it better be a fucking hat." I said, <laughs> "I said, I said, mate, it is a hat." He's like, "Fuck yes." There you go, bang. Uh, that was good. That it was, was good. a great story. It was good having oh, this fucking guy. It was good having breakfast with you, Tim. It was good. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I'm was glad. Good I'm, I'm glad out of everyone here, uh, I got to meet you first. I'm just, just saying, just quietly. <laughs> yeah, get fucked on, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Lloyd. You, you, Lloyd, you're, you're in quarantine, mate. I, I, I nothing thought, I can do. I thought we were on this side of the bloody no, screen. I thought oh, that we were a bit closer I'm than that. Send, sending positive vibes down your your way. All anyway, right, mate. Lloyd. Right. Lloyd. Fuck him. Leave you broke. Me. Smash ever. Yeah. We're doing our own man chat. Fuck them yeah. guys. I forgive yeah. you. Yeah. I forgive you. I'll, I'll do all the talking. <laughs> what uh what do you get up to, Ash? Well, mate, um, I just want to do a quick shout out before I get into it. Um, Zach, he had some fantastic news, uh, oh, yeah, family related, friends. which is brilliant. Yeah. Uh, it was his birthday a couple of days ago, so happy birthday. And he got engaged today. So congratulations. If everyone can hey. just smash those heart remotes or emotes or, you know, hate emotes, whatever you want to do, just smash yeah, GG's everybody. in the oh, chat. GG's in the chat, exactly. Yeah, right. yeah, so, easy. So, um, about uh, me, uh, Fat Chat is back. I did a Fat Chat with Jade. I saw him here a little bit earlier and it was fantastic. Uh, it was uh, really good to have that segment come back um, where I sit down and uh, have a chat to, you know, a real bloke who's losing weight and that, other than you three 
awesome blokes, but uh, it was nice. And uh, other than that, just, you know, family stuff and, uh, um, and yeah, way in Wednesdays, the day after tomorrow. That's it. <laughs> Not a lot going on. Very cool. That's good. Awesome. All right. Um, I had a little, I had a bit of a busy weekend chat. Uh, I may have met up oh, with someone. Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to go on. I'm just going to say I met up with someone and uh, abso- absolute legend. Um, one of the nicest blokes you'll meet. Uh, absolute top bloke. Really down to earth. Uh, can't speak highly enough of him. And that's it. That's the closest Good. a man talk he's ever gotten. That's it. Yep. <laughs> that's it. He's, he's coming. He, he'll be here. Don't worry, chat. He'll be here. Um, all right. So why are we here tonight? What are we doing besides just chatting bullshit? Um, boom. We're going to chat about uh, exercise. We're going to chat about exercise. I'll be I ready. Hate, I, I fucking hate exercise. I'm just going to put it out there straight away. What are you guys like? Let's talk about exercise. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty much straight up. Yeah, you'll message you on the toilet. We know. Um, I've learned to enjoy it. Um, I enjoy getting out and running around with the kids and being able to do that stuff that I couldn't do before. Um, as far as like thinking, I really want to go for a run today. I've never reached that level of anything. But I know that exercise has its purpose and its point, and you do need to do a bit to lose your weight. So um, I try and do it. Casually though, I try to you know walk further to from the car to the shops. Go up. Me and the kids always go stairs now. We don't go elevator anymore. Um, I try and do like a more sort of casual lot of exercise. What about you guys? Well, look, I think I think that there's <clears throat> in um, the weight loss kind of world. I think there's this really like strong preconception that to lose weight you need to be slogging it out gym that you need to be you know training yourself like crazy till your sweat's pouring out till you're basically throwing up uh and really it couldn't be further from the truth and i find like and i'm trying to do it as a bit of a statement this time around like i've done bugger all but really just kind of walking i've done a a couple of weeks of yoga um because my work schedule has changed. Like I'm back at the office now. I haven't really had much time to do DDP. I did some swimming very early on, but for the most part, I just walk like a half hour walk uh, every day. And now I'm trying to up it to like an hour, an hour and a half worth of walking a day and uh, aiming for about 10 steps. And how, did 40... you f- how did you find the swimming, Ash? How did you find that, Mike? Well, you, you like, did, did, was... you get, did you go better than you thought you would go or did you find it harder than you thought it was going to be? I've always been an all right swimmer, like a pretty strong swimmer. But um, like when I first jumped, like I was probably still about 150 odd kilos. Mm, yeah. Uh, the pool then. Uh, the, the biggest hurdle that I had with swimming was the first time swimming without a shirt on. Because if you show up to a lap pool that's indoors and you're wearing like any sort of top, it, it's weirder than just actually getting your kit off. Mm. Uh, and yeah, yeah. I bring more attention to yourself. and. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I kind of liberated myself. Like, no, you guys can all stare at this white body and these, and and it was quite liberating. Um, but uh, you know, it was all right. Uh, I had to start slow, and even if you just do like a lap here and there, uh, like you know, to, to and fro, and then walk the pool, mm. like just walking the pool is huge resistance uh, workout. So um, it's uh, but yeah, mainly just walking. That's what I've been doing. Sorry, yeah. real round answer. Walking's a bear. I like walking. Yeah, I, I've, I tr- I've tried to do 10,000. I just, I, I get a heap done. I get a heap of steps at work. So I'm worked as I can do that before I even leave for the day. Um, but I just tried to do roughly around 10,000. And um, most days I hit it. Some days you don't. But um, I think if you're just trying to, in the back of your head, have be more active than I was, don't lay on the lounge like I was. And like when I drop stuff, don't get the kids to pick up the shit that I drop because I used to get the kids to pick it up because I couldn't be bothered bending down to pick it up. All that adds up. What about you, Lloyd? Yeah. You, you get a shitload of steps at the cafe and that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I get heaps of steps uh, at work. And then when it's a nice day, I try and um, I try and go for a walk, uh, even if it's just taking the family out and going around the lake, um, which mm. is really good. And I enjoy it, run around with the with the little guy and um, he, at the moment he's gone through a phase of running from one side of the backyard to the other. So I try and run the opposite and he just laughs his head off. Mm. It's so good. Um, other than that, I've been doing 
uh, 10 minutes hit workout. I am preparing to get myself ready for the man challenge. For, for what, Lloyd? So, uh, for what? For the man challenge. Oh, this thing right yeah. here. Look at this. Next week. That's it. Uh, so how, how does one go about uh, getting a token for the man challenge, Lloyd? Can you fill us in? Um, so a free one or a paid one? Well, it's 99 if you want to pay for it. But if you want exactly. it for free, what do you have to do? Um, so if you spend 199 uh, through the man shake, so, which is easy, easy to do, get your month's worth of uh, shake, some bars, some super greens, Perfect. all that jazz. Yeah. But we're going to be giving some away tonight. We are. We are. Look at this. Ready? <gasps> we are. We are. How good's that? Ooh, we're Ooh. giving five tokens away, chat. So if you're doing, a bit, if you're doing a bit tough out there and, um, haven't got the funds to spend the 200 on Man Shake or Lady Shake or... Oh, no, not Lady Shake. It's Man Challenge. Do the do ladies do? Do they have a challenge? Yeah, Excuse they Excuse me for being stupid. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, yeah. okay. It's a, it's a Lady Shake. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's the same deal. So if so, we can give out Lady Tokens as well as Male, male Tokens. Is this what we're doing? Yeah. There's a quality well, tokens, I think, what we're going for. Perfect. <laughs> Bang. Um, there you go. So we're going to give five out. So if you're in chat... We're looking in chat for active chatters, people that are putting good stuff up in chat. We're going to spy some people throughout the show. Well, you must share must share this thing onto your own Facebook and uh, like the video and just comment away. So, Spam uh, the hate emotes. Best. Just go for yeah. it. People love it. <laughs> but it, but it, don't rest assured, guys, if you do miss out the opportunity to get one of the five tokens tonight, there is also a competition on the Man Shakers page. Uh, we're giving away a bunch of tokens <laughs> as well. you got to show us your proper shaker etiquette. So, and uh, that you got to show us how you shake it. Yeah, show us how you shake your shaker. Whether it's just you're a gonna, traditional, you're just going to show of, like, us the technique, hand it like that. Yeah, like or, shake yeah. it, like, so like oh, this, and, uh, like you know, or or whether you do a bit of cocktail, or whether you do a bit of tricks. I just do a show side, us some creative stuff. I just do a boring sideways one. Throw it at the still, wall, watch yeah. it explode everywhere. Yeah. There you, go. you know, Jared, <laughs> I actually watched your current affair um uh, segment the other day, and you drink the shaker sideways. You know, while like, I was doing that. Because right. cause of this little, because of this thing gets right. Here's this behind the curtains, right? For starters, I wasn't the one mixing that. They put in another person mixing the thing. But when you drink you it straight, when you drink it straight, right? That, that's on your forehead like that, right? So you got to drink it sideways to get that away from your face. But then you've got to make sure that the man shake was on display. So it was a whole orchestration of how to drink it, a shaker. It looked really awkward the way it was. Fucking it. awkward. A... It was awkward. I'm there not gonna lie. It was back... awkward. Let's get back to the topic because there's a lot to talk about when it comes to exercise. It is. So, Here we um, go. Let's watch this little so, video that a few of us legends did. And uh, oh, I love how no one asked me about what I thought about exercise. Oh, fuck. So I cool. thought we would already... No, that's right. <laughs> you said you hated it. I thought that was it. We'll come back to you, That's it. I was about to go into a giant spiel about how you don't have to fucking work out to lose weight. We're coming, a common misconception. We're coming back, Tim. We're coming back. We're going we're to shoot a video that us four legends did and Betson and Jamie out there did. And Mark Taylor, I think. Tubby's there as well. Here we go. <laughs> Shadow boxing. Yeah. Jamie already was getting fucked. Jamie's just off the double digits, so I saw an insta. Just yeah, off the double Hey, look at that. 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 Bang. <laughs> My favourite part of this entire video. Honestly, like the man challenge is so good. And it like I mean, if you aren't big on the exercise whole front and everything, like it does really give you ideas on how to move and how to get a sweat going if you have no equipment at home. And yeah. it would it really opens your horizons in terms of like, you know, if I'm feeling like getting a bit of energy, you can do this and you can always refer back to it. And, you know, even if you just record yourself doing it, like I do with every single thing of my life, you can always refer back to them, you know, when the man challenge is over. Um, it's certainly certainly good and certainly beneficial. And exercise is great for your mind. It's also great for your body as well. And soul. It's not just... Mm. I don't know. Uh, Uber. I, 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 sorry. Uber, what's your opinion on exercise, mate? Okay. Well, for starters, I fucking hate it. <laughs> like, I, I absolutely hate exercise. 
It's just not my thing. But I did do a fair bit when... Oh, actually, no, I didn't. That's that's a bit of a lie. I didn't do much exercise when I was losing weight. I lost the majority of my 30, uh, 30 kilos with just disciplined eating and just cutting out shit. But the thing that pisses me off is that people automatically associate, like, if they want to go on a weight loss journey, they have to go to the gym. And that's just rubbish. For me and for a lot of the, you know, personal trainers that I follow, the core message is that you do not go to the gym to lose weight. You go to the gym to get stronger. That seems to be where the trend is heading these days. You know, we see, uh, especially with women, women going to the gym to lift weights, to do deadlifts, to, you know, they're in there doing the stuff that normally, like, you know, women haven't been doing for the last, you know, 20, 30 years because, you know, it's a it's a man's world in there. In the gym, mm. it's always the men who are at the weights, you know, and, and women are starting to punch that wall down, which is really, really good because I, I personally, I think that's, you know, that's a really cool quality. <clears throat> but like, I, I just, I, I really hate this disingenuous um, like idea that you ha if you want to lose weight, you have to go to the gym. Like, it's just rubbish. If you want to lose weight, you just eat less than what you, you, you less calories out than you're putting in your body. Uh, sorry, less calories in than you put it like than you're putting out and you just move a little bit more, whether it's walk to the train station or go for a walk around the park or run around the park with your kid. Like you don't have to go and smash yourself on a fucking treadmill for half an hour in order to lose weight. That is just rubbish. That Absolute being said, rubbish. Tim, that, yeah, being, that, said, that Tim. being said, yes, you don't need to, you don't yeah. need to, but it is. Yeah, awesome. it'll obviously, obviously it, it will help awesome. you. Yeah, but it, like, you don't it will have help to. you. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like on the fence about it. Like, cause yeah, you don't have to, and I'm kind of trying to set, like set an example with my current weight loss journey, but previous weight loss journeys, I've gone to the gym five days a week. I've done a uh, heavy medium and lightweight training five days a week. I was on like six kinds of supplements. I was deadlifting 220 kilos. I had a pretty decent bench and I was, I was going and I felt fan fucking yeah, yeah. There's, there's no guns and it was just so good. There's and it no, released endorphins, yeah, you know, there, there's no, there's no doubt that when it comes to like the endorphin, like, you know, releasing endorphins and, you know, building muscle and everything like that, that it is absolutely great for you. But the problem is that, gyms and personal trainers prey on the fact that they like you know that you have to go to the gym to lose weight if you want to go to the gym to you know if you want to lose weight you just eat better and you eat less and you look after yourself in that way and you be disciplined you go to the gym to obviously get that endorphin release to build that muscle to build strength so you like it, it just pisses me off that in, like the the first thing personal trainers are like you have to go to the gym okay, you're not well, going to have success unless you go to the gym and that's rubbish here's my thing <clears throat> never had a personal training session ever i've lost 80 kilos never had a personal trainer i didn't want some guy yelling at me doing this doing that go do that go do that no i started at the gym after i'd lost 20 kilos i still couldn't weigh myself when i walked into the gym my brother-in-law got, got me on a bench press the first day i got in there i could not move for about three days afterwards I went back and just went upstairs to the really quiet section, the cardio section, and I just got on a treadmill and I walked. The reason I did yeah. that at the gym was to get, like Michael says in chat, mental headspace to get in there because I knew that I'm paying money, I'm here, I'm going to get on this treadmill and I'm going to lose fucking weight while I'm here. So I did that and then slowly transitioned into some weights to build some a little bit of tone. I'm not, I'm not fucking toned. You, you, you can't really lose 80 kilos and be toned, really. Um... For me, it was more of a mental thing. I knew if I'm home, I know during COVID, I haven't done practically anything besides some push-ups here when people fucking make me. Um, yeah. Like, I just knew that <laughs> going to the gym was going to get me in focus mode and actually do it, and it did. So for me, it was a good thing. But having said that, I didn't, don't believe in personal trainers. I mean, I don't, I don't not believe in personal trainers. They're not for me. So I didn't get involved in it. I, I honestly believe that there are two types of personal trainers. There's personal trainers that are in it to help other people and there's personal trainers that are in it for themselves. And yeah. the ones that are in it for themselves are the ones to be careful of. The thing is, yeah. is that you don't need to have a personal trainer. Like, I mean, exactly. if you are completely nervous and you want someone to show you around and how to use machines, how to like what gym etiquette is and that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, get one, do your research on who's good. Just don't go pick the first one that comes free with your gym membership because they're there. They put no effort into those like customized you gotta, you gotta workouts. Fucking, they just change your name at the top of you it. You got YouTube. Yeah. You got a fucking personal trainer. Like yeah. seriously. And if I can put some recommendations that's the out thing. there, yeah, there's that's a lot a... of YouTube channels like bodybuilding.com and all of those. There's uh, a guy where I learned a lot of movement and uh, like um, details about how 
important form is and negative movements, you know, and all like Athlean X, uh, Greg Plitt. He had some fantastic uh, videos out there and it can be so good for your, your mind. It's you go, you go to the gym, you unwind, you de-stress, you move some heavy things. And I loved it. Don't Mm. get me wrong. And I miss it from time to time. You know, I really do. But, um, you know, it, it, you don't need to go to the gym to lose weight, mm. but it will help you greatly and it will boost your confidence too. And when you're there, ignore everyone else. They don't give two shits no, about you. No, they don't care. You know, Al, don't Pe- care. Al Peck said earlier he hates it when people upload videos on YouTube of people failing at the gym. Ignore that because mm. 99.9% of people don't do that. The- and the people that do are absolute dickheads mm. and you have no reason to associate with them at all. Yeah. So, yeah. I've I've got to say that uh, how I feel about exercise is find what you enjoy, find what you want to go out and do. Mm. Uh, whether it is walking, whether it's jumping mm. on a bike, whether it's going for a swim, um, you might enjoy going to the gym. I didn't go to the gym until I'd lost over forty kilos, mm. and I lost I lost those forty kilos simply by being on my feet at work and going for a walk, probably three nights a week. Um, which I really enjoy. I enjoy going for a walk, getting in my own headspace, listening to some metal. You enjoy going up up and down stairs, don't you, Lloyd? You love that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that's it. Find find little obstacles and mm. go and do little things that um that you enjoy. Um, yeah, and keep it simple, really. Like I know I know Ash was saying that there's heaps of videos on YouTube, but you can also get in that headspace of watching one video and going, Oh, that's what I gotta do, and then watching another video and they're like no, don't do that. And you just, it can get pretty yeah. confusing at the same time. So yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, but um, I, I, I just find that um, you should just do what you enjoy. Yeah. See, when I, when I was going to the gym, when I was like, cause I, when I, when I went to the gym, I would go three times a week, but my goal at the gym was just to lift weights, just to lift. Do, like I didn't do any cardio when I was there. It was just pretty much 45 minutes of in doing different machines and, and lifting weights. And the way I did it was that I signed up for the James Smith Academy on uh, on my phone and it was like $9.99 a month. <clears throat> and he had like, there's almost 250, 300 videos of different exercises and you could pick from all those different exercises into a gym routine. And I just did that. Like, so I paid nine bucks a month to just put, put together my own workout with instructional videos on how to do the exercises. So I wasn't in the gym thinking to myself, fuck, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing as opposed to $40, $50 a session for a personal trainer once a week. Mm. Mm. So like, honestly, I, I, yeah, I have a very low opinion of personal trainers. If I'm completely honest, some personal trainers are fantastic and some people have a lot of benefit for them. But, uh, you know, uh, Tim, I think you've had a pretty bad experience with a personal (laughs) trainer at some stage. I've 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 had three or four personal trainers and I've always felt like they're just, I was just dollars to them. And like, Oh, I don't it's know. Kind of true it's, though. Like, yeah, and, and I get that, but you can still you can still see someone as an ins like a source of income, but still give them proper training and proper fulfillment and like just uh, you know like actually care about them as a person instead of just seeing them as dollar signs. Like yeah. that's yeah, that like that's the problem that I've had with every personal trainer that I've ever had. They've just been only interested in when I was paying them. You know, like you'd get a message five minutes after you left the gym. Oh, by the way, here are my bank details. It's like fuck off. You know, I'm gonna pay you. Just mm. let me go home and recover. Like mm. yeah, that's sorry. Um, I just was looking at the time and uh, I'm going to make an executive decision here. I'm going to um, award Bill Dykov the first token. Hey, yeah. 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 I'm going to make executive decision, mate. Like the, the stuff that I see him do, like in terms of steps and what he's talking about, like how he, you know, how he doesn't let his age hold him back or anything like that. Man, fantastic. You get a token. So um, I think one of us is going to reach out to you and get an email. Uh, put his details down for Yashi. Thank you, mate. But uh, yeah, executive decision number one. Bang. Get in. GG. Uh, while, we're, while we're going, while we're giving shit away, uh, I think it's time we do. Uh, we're at the halfway point. We'll do, I think we should do top bloke while we're going. Um, mm-hmm. So, us four, we pick a top bloke every week. Um, you don't need to brown those. You don't need to suck up to us. We, we know who's out there and who's in the periphery and who's doing good shit. 
So uh, every week we pick a top bloke to have a spin of the wheel and can win some big prizes. This week we'll go across here. And this week, top bloke is Jeremy. Oh, fuck, I thought it was me. Come on. No, you're always not a top you, bloke. Not you. Uh, Jeremy, come on down. Okay, so Jeremy is a 49-year-old father of three. He's been separated for six years, but now has an amazing woman in his life who is 100% supportive. Jeremy has an identical twin brother who he hasn't seen since March because of COVID. They've always been the same weight, and he has no idea about Jeremy's weight loss. Jeremy hopes his transformation can help motivate his brother. Uh, his pro tip is kiss, keep it simple, stupid, eat well, exercise daily, don't overcomplicate it. His goal is 89 kilos before he turns 50 in June next year. He's loving the Manshake program. The stories and support is motivating him to be the best version of himself. So for that, wow. Jeremy is top bloke of the week. There yeah, you go. What a difference 14 yeah. kilo makes, mate. You look that's, fantastic. That's it. Actually, yeah, he said... He's set to turn 50 as well. Jesus. Actually, he said um, in a message I got from him today, he said that... On, I think it was Friday, he, his pants fell down. He got on the scales and it was like 101.3 or something. So his unofficial weight is 101.3. So get in, Jeremy. Well done, mate. That's so good. That's so good. All right. And now yeah, he wasn't out in public when that happened. That's it. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> now, Ash, what time is it? Ash, what time is it? It is time for... Spin that bitch, I was going to say. Jesus. Real <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell we're on the same level. I know, I know. Someone in my, someone in my chat just said the mirrors and gyms are super depressing. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. And I tend to agree, but like it, there is a double edged sword because it's really good to see your progress in the mirror when you like and see your form and stuff like that. But then you just see those people that just stand in front of the mirrors and just take photos of themselves and just like fuck off. Like, Thanks, Tim. Mate, you? we're spinning this wheel. I'm Let's just spin saying, this no, no, shut no, up. No, I'm talking. Honestly, le learn the time. Can you right? mute, can you mute Ash, please? Can you shut up? <laughs> All right, come on. Shut the fuck up! Okay. Back to the wheel, Jed. All right. Now, now, boys. Now, now. Do I read I've run the pro bug. Yeah, I've run the pro bug. There you go. There you go. It's, it's not one. Let's go. Let's spin the wheel. Right, Jeremy, this is, this is for you, Jeremy. This is for you, buddy. Now, I will say this. After spinning three golds in a row, I had a practice go, and that's where it landed, yellow. So it's not broken. Let's let's see what happens. Mm, Guaranteed yeah, gold. Yeah, Guaranteed yeah. gold. It sounds broken. There we go. Oh, good spin, Ash. Good spin. I did uh, the overhand technique. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Love it. Wasn't a Turkish grip? There we go. Yellow? So, man, Yellow. you want... A bag. You still need to update that thing. It's two bags. Two, two bags. bags. Two bags full. Two Jeremy, bags. two bags full, mate. Um, so, I will get your details, Jeremy, because I've already chatted to you today. I'll get your details off you, mate, and two bags coming your way, buddy. Boom. Get in. Beautiful. All right, and we'll be doing another spin a bit later, so stick around. You have to be here to win. Yeah? That's it. You need to be <laughs> in it to win it. Yeah. Come on, Black. To win it. <laughs> Come on, Black. Papa needs a new <laughs> bag of shake. All right. Cool. So um, tell you what, Lloyd, why don't you pick the next token giveaway while we're giving stuff away? Uh, shit, I haven't even been looking at chat, I'm afraid. Oh, so I couldn't tell you. I'm, uh, so, I'm so sorry. Uh, Bus. Bus, Ash, Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does the, the bus have a picture of you, Jared, on it? I'm oh. it. Driving it, Driving it, I think. Bus. Least, least it's 80 kilos, 80 kilos lighter now. Bang, yeah. that is true. That is very true. Hey, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. All right, Tim, All right. Tim, come on, mate. Have you been watching the chat? Come on. Let's yeah, do actually, um, I'm going to pick. Um, this is probably going to be a bit of a captain's call as well. Uh, where is it? Name's Mike. Mike Milne, I think. Yeah, he's the one that commented before about the um, mental health, mental head space. Yeah, so, so yeah. I actually do yeah, know. Mike I Mike. actually know Mike as well, and he is a fucking top bloke. And I honestly, I can vouch for him. Um, yeah, so I would definitely throw him a. Sorry. So, yeah. So, uh, no, no. I'm yet to find a good one. I'll leave it at that. But yeah, I would absolutely select him uh, to get one of the tokens as well because I know he's have a bit had a bit of a rough patch. He's a, he's a chef at the moment and in the industry. So at, as it is at the current climate, it's been a bit rough. So I'd love to see him get one and so he can uh, start on his journey as well. Perfect. So. Uh, Dylan, Dylan in chat, this podcast truly is awesome because of you. 
I've finally started my journey. Oh, GG, Dylan, get in, mate. Uh, it's there for the taking, buddy. It's That's, there for the uh, taking. We gave, we gave him a pack the other week. Um, I think. Yeah, Dylan. we did. Yeah. 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 It's good mate. to see you again, Dylan, mate. It's awesome, really good man. to see you. There you awesome. go. Um, cool. All right. So that's two down. We've got three tokens to give out. Three tokens to give out. There we go. Okay. What else? Got? Got Tim, Tim, get back on your soapbox. What else you got, mate? Oh, no. I've just got someone in my chat who said, what do you guys think about all these powder alternative meals like Huel, H-U-E-L? Is it a way to go or just throwing money into the sea? Um, I've never actually heard of that. Alternative to be... meals? Don't yeah. I... Okay. yeah oh, I don't know. Uh, I Look, I, I've... I know a lot of people like, um, you know, things like Hello Fresh and stuff like that. But you know, like there's there's two sides of the debate on whether it's actually that like as healthy as they explain it, like as they um, and new foods and stuff like that. Like there's, can I don't I, know. Can like, I yeah. just say something, chat? I just want to say something. Simplest dinner ever, right? Go to Coles, get yourself a little piece of steak, get yourself an Asian noodle salad that's in the in the packet prepackaged. Oh, yes. Yes. Done. That's dinner done. Do fucking it, do barbecue it. Chi- barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken and, 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 and pa- pre prepackaged. Done. Coles have amazing prepackaged salads. Just go down and buy one. You probably couldn't make it for as cheap as they do the bags. And it's Please just, well. it's just, Please. it's, it's not just one meal, chat. You can have it the next day. Like you can, but you can put it in a just, container just, and take just, it to work. Just with the barbecue, with the barbecue chicken, a chicken, chicken. Um, just a uh, rip off the skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that is it. Don't have the stuff in either, but um. Um, yeah, that's seriously the packaged salads. There's the no, best bit. there's no, there's <laughs> no the, excuse. We have to pretend that we don't eat it. There's no excuse. <laughs> By the time you go and buy like a one of the brands, like Muscle Meals or whatever it is, just go buy a fucking salad and a bit of chicken or a steak. Boom. I've had more steak in the last 18 months than I have my entire life. So, what kind of steak do you go for, Joe? What steak do you recommend? Um, either me and the missus will get like a just one bit of rump and like chop it in half depending or we'll go sometimes we, we're feeling a bit spritzy we might go scotch fillet uh, i don't mind oh. the por- i don't mind the porterhouse i don't mind the porterhouse it's scotch fillet or nothing for me i live life oh, champagne, champagne caviar dreams mm-hmm. over here but scotch i have it be a bit i have it i have it medium well and apparently that triggers everyone apparently medium i do well steak is not the go it's oh, not the, it's not i do a four and a, no i do a five and a four i think i think five to be and honest a four. to be honest the scotchy should be cooked at a medium because of the fat content, mm-hmm. but everyone, everyone is different. But with the fat content, a chef would usually cook a scotch well, to, to you, medium. You're, talk, you're talking to a guy who doesn't like eggs, so uh, I do like yeah. eggs. He had an excuse me, egg. excuse me. He had an omelet <laughs> with me for breakfast yesterday. He likes eggs. He had an omelet. Mm-hmm. And cherry tomatoes. I don't not it. like eggs. I just don't like runny eggs. I don't like the look of them. It makes me feel sick. I, I don't know why. It just it's, does. It's so funny. Growing up, right, Lloyd, you'll appreciate this being a chef. Growing up, I thought steak was meant to be grey and, like, burnt and, like, rubbery because Dad oh. dad used to cook barbecues, right? And what he would do is he'd cook a barbecue. How long's a barbecue going to be? Oh, three beers. He'd just have beers while he was cooking barbecue, <laughs> and the steak would always end up being dead and grey, and I thought that's how it was supposed to be. It wasn't until I started watching MasterChef many years ago. I'm like, that steak's pretty pink. And they're like, yeah, that steak's perfect. I'm like, Really? Your steak's yeah, supposed I, to have a bit of colour. I didn't know that. I've had some amazing medium well cooked steaks that were nice and juicy. Like I don't, oh, I just don't subscribe to that. It has to be red and mooing. Like no, I, eat steak the way you like it. Yeah, I don't like the steak. blood running on the plate, but I like a bit of um, a bit of pinkness there with the meat. I don't like the blood dripping all over it. Well, you, that's why you let it rest for about as well, probably equal length of time you cooked it. Uh, half, it rest. half, half the time. Half the time. So if you okay. if you cook your steak for ten right, minutes. Sure. Rest it, rest it for five. Bang. All right. I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that my my dislike of runny eggs was because when I was really young, my mum took me to the um, uh, it's like a museum in Sydney. I can't remember which one. Powerhouse. It was like it's got like no, not powerhouse. It's got like dinosaur. Oh, Australian bones. natural history. It's, yeah, natural. Yeah. yeah, and there was like a big termite slash ants nest there, and the eggs were yet yeah, like the yolk, like the um. The eggs inside were like all yellow and gross, and I think that's what triggered me. So I just yeah, runny eggs just make me feel. Yeah. Can someone show Jade the door? Jade, get yourself out, mate. Just get yourself out after that. Just get out. What, of did, here. what did Jade say? Oh, oh, oh. You, oh God. Oh. <laughs> hey, show yourself the door. Oh, I see it. I Jess. see it. I'm not going to repeat it. Jess doesn't like peanut butter either. We should be friends. Jess Bruce. You friends. don't like peanut butter either. Peanut butter is oh, disgusting. Oh, my God. Why are you here? What? Jess Bruce. Jared, come on, I, Jess Bruce. That's almost 
means for expulsion from Jerdville, but I like you too much. You can, so you can come to Ubertropolis. It's we're nicer here anyway. Is it, oh, is it, yeah. no, fuck, fuck, fuck. Is it Uber Nation or Ubertropolis? Get it's your... Ubertropolis, which is in the Uber Nation. Oh fuck right? off, you fucking and dictator. The, and we're Uber Castrians. He's a dictator over here. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen out there in the chat, right? Let us know if you like if you don't like a weird food for whatever reason or a very common food like eggs or peanut butter. Put it down there because I'm keen to see what other what, what people don't like in terms of just everyday food. All right, um, can I... I can't do I can't do coriander. Can't do it. I at all. if you're out there, I don't know if anyone's had this. Has anyone been to Chargul Charlie's before? Oh yeah. Now, has anyone tried the lemon grass and ginger chicken salad? It. Anytime we come home on the uh, M1 F3, whatever the fuck it's called nowadays, we stop at wherever we go to go Chargul or Charlie's. The lemon grass. Uh, fucking ginger chicken salad is fantastic. And there was a big hunk of coriander in it yesterday. And I've been... Oh, and my missus, said, uh, I, my missus said, I thought you didn't like coriander. I said, nah, it's all right. It's all right. I don't even know. I, I don't even... It looks, like a, it looks like a clover. It looks like a fucking... I, I, used, to hate, I used to hate coriander. And mm. then I reckon I turned 30 and I started loving it. Mm. I have it in virtually every salad that I have nowadays. Hey, Vegemite. Luke Mulder. Hey, Vegemite. What? Get the fuck out of here. Do you, live in, do you live in Australia? Do you live in Australia? Do you live in Australia? The because Vegemite's you got to get hard. Yeah, I think Steve they can, Holland. They can don't tear up like your, uh... watermelon. No, watermelon, watermelon. Watermelon is a fruit, not a flavor, chat. It's a fruit, My not wife. a flavor. Stop trying to make it a flavor. It's My a fruit. My wife doesn't like watermelon either. Can't so. do tomato or avocado. Some people Jesus. don't. Do you know the most thing that's left on a plate at work with the salads? Tomato. The amount of people that leave yeah. tomato on their plate, it's ridiculous the amount of people that don't I'm like not tomato. A, I'm not a big fan of tomato. It's got to be, be cold. I don't like hot tomato. Tomato it, is one of the best foods ever. It's got to be cold. Like Cold, I could eat it like an apple. But you can't even talk, Jed. You put your man bars in the fridge, so shut the fuck up. Hey, they're fucking, they're fucking fantastic. <laughs> Do you put your sauce in the fridge too? No, sauce in the cupboard. Do you put, your, in in you put your Vegemite in the fridge? No. No You, one can't, you, can't, you can't spread it. Sure. You can't spread it if it's in the fridge, your Vegemite. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a captain's call to... Um, I'm going to give a token to uh, Jared McEwen. Jared McEwen, you're getting a token, buddy. GG, well done. That's three down. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Let's give a token to Dukes. <laughs> Get him to do his own challenge. <laughs> Tip. Tip. <laughs> There we Send go. it to him. Hey, Dukes, we got this for you, man. Mitch Cox puts Vegemite in the fridge. Mitch Cox, we thought better of you, mate. Swede and turnip. Mitch, Mitch I'm with you. I wasn't, good, I wasn't prepared to speak up with these three idiots, but I put Vegemite in the fridge too. How do you, sp how do you spread it on a sandwich? <laughs> Tear through well, the fucking bread, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it, that, that's just how it is. Oh, for fuck's uh, sake. Like. It, this be, is the way. It'll be okay. This is the way. It'll be okay. Thought, it'll be okay on toast. Like it'll be okay on toast, but... <laughs> Tim's yeah, gone. Well, the, oh, well, I only have it on, on. toast. Like, we'll, we'll I just, wouldn't have it on bread. We'll just finish, we'll just finish this up, off properly. Here we go. Tim's you've gone. Upset, you've upset yeah. Tim that he's much gone. he's had to leave. He's gone. <laughs> uh, well, at least hey. he doesn't have his runny eggs. Hey, 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 Betson. <laughs> Betson, what do you do? You want to jump into a Skype call, Betson? Yeah, Betson, <laughs> mate. Give us a call. <laughs> Betson, come on down. <laughs> Try it again. How good is Betson? He's, he's not here. He's not here. Hold on. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it when he Hey, uh, Betson, want to jump in for a Skype call, mate? We we got one room. We got room for you, buddy. We got room. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to. I'd like to formally tender my resignation from man talk. It's been great, guys, but I cannot. I cannot associate with someone who puts Vegemite in the fridge. <laughs> I just can't. I, Ash, don't talk to me, mate. I, I've seen the way you eat steaks, mate. You could use them as four steps, honestly. Like... <laughs> oh, okay. Um, are we gonna do? Are we gonna do another spin? What are we? What are we thinking for the other spin? We haven't even chatted about it. Are we gonna do a? Do we want to message a secret number to me or something? You, free bull feds or what are what we, are we do? doing? What are we doing? We, we want to do another spin. What are, how are we gonna do it? Message me in chat. Oh, I don't know. Don't put us on the spot like this. Oh, usually it's Ash going. Hey, you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'll. I'll send. Oh, you I got that. a question. I got a question. I got a question. Oh, when does? Can you? When does the? When does the? Uh, when does the challenge start? Okay, as long as you know the answer. When, is, when does the man challenge start? What day? I don't, I don't actually know the answer. When it's it's sometime. I think coincidentally, the knows. man challenge Lloyd is knows. on the same day as man talk next week, which is also my birthday. There you go. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Birthday drop. Birthday drop. Mm -hmm. Bam. We have to dress up. I'm giving you the man challenge for your birthday, Ash. 
Mm. There you go, Togan. Done, Togan. Hayden, Hayden Apo. He gets it Monday, 19th of October. Boom. Hayden Apo. At least that's the first one I saw. Hayden Apo, is yep. that the first one? Okay, let's yep. spin it. Hayden, congratulations. You get to spin this bitch. Welcome oh, to yeah. the Magic Wheel of Tim, 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 Tim fucked us up. Yeah, How did I fuck us up? I just gave us a great answer. There we go. There we go. A great Bam. question. There we go. Yeah, you oh, did. Good. You did a very good question. Totally on brand. <clears throat> very good. Very oh. good. Oh, totally, <laughs> totally on brand. Uh, totally on brand. Hayden, this is for you, that's, buddy. That's, that's you, what Hayden. they say. Hayden, Hayden Apo, congratulations, mate. We're going to spin this for you. That's what they say in the uh, in the media world. On, on brand. brand. On brand. That's what I'm saying. Is it Ubertropolis or is it Uber Nation? Get on brand, buddy. It's both. They're all the same okay. brand. All right. I'll just live in my little villa in Jerville. It's fine. Yeah, get some running water, you peasant. <laughs> what color we got? Oh, we got yellow oh, again. There we go. We got yellow again. Two bags. Two bags full. Two bags. Ooh, two wrong bags one, wrong full. one, wrong one. Two bags. There two bags. Go. Two bags, Hayden. Get in. Bang. Perfect. I'll send you a message, Hayden, and get your details. Congratulations, Hayden. So well, that's on. the end. Very fantastic. And while we're giving stuff away, um, if he hasn't got one already, uh, mm. I would like to give a token to Brocky. Brocky, well done. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Um, someone in my chat just said Vegemite is best in the fridge. It's actually Mike who won the token. So mm. just letting you know that you've lost your token, Mike. We'll give that to someone else. <laughs> Brocky may already have a token just quietly, I think. We'll see. We'll double, see. Double let, up. Let, us, let us know, bro. Double up. Let us know if you already got a token. You got a token, let us know already. But uh, if not, it's all yours, my man. Yep. <laughs> Gold is a jar of room temperature Vegemite. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh jeez. I have a I have a secret for the chat as well at the end of Man Talk that we're gonna we're gonna announce. Even you guys don't know about this one, but it's it's big. It's, it's big. coming out of the closet. I am. No, we, I'm we not. Knew it. Did you get it? Did you get my pictures then? It is gonna be the biggest giveaway <laughs> we've ever done. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, that's, Brock. You that's you, Brock, Brock Malone. Malone. That's you, Brock. Have How many other Brocks are here? Yeah, like, can you smell what the Brock is cooking, mate? Go Geo, dude. <laughs> Sorry, Pokemon reference. Mm, <laughs> we dig it. Um, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen in the chat, do you have any questions for us? Anything I'm, that I'm, you want answered? I'm thrown by Tim's blatant just statement just then. I'm just completely thrown. I don't, what's he got cooking? <laughs> do you want me to let you guys know now? Do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about sure. it now? He's got, Dan sure. says he's giving away my monitor. Probably, probably Dan. <laughs> <Give it away. laughs> I can probably let not. you guys know that as of tomorrow, there will be a competition run across my Twitter, uh, across the Facebook uh, Manshakers page, across Instagram, to give away two hundred and eighty dollars worth of credit for the Manshake website. So you can order whatever you want. That that will uh, up to the value of two hundred and eighty dollars, and that will be drawn next week. Uh, it will run for approximately one week. So, yeah, it's the biggest giveaway we've done in terms of, like, pure dollar value in one go. So How that will start tomorrow. Uh, the, the links will go up tomorrow in the Manshake fa in the Manshakers Facebook page first. It'll be the first pl platform to get it, um, and you'll be able to enter. And the winner will be drawn randomly in a week's time using a competition format called Gleam, which is like a – it takes all the work oh. out of having to do competitions. So, I entered a competition yeah. today on Gleam, actually, to try and win some stuff on Twitter. <laughs> That's not bad. I got four entries, so hey, forty entries, whatever it was. Anyway. Uh, so Brock, Brock doesn't have one, so he's quite happy to accept one. So Bang, that's good. Get in. Yep. We got two Too easy. We got two left. One left. <laughs> one left. One left. One left. Okay. Lloyd, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a preemptive chuck under the bus, mate. So in ten minutes, you need to choose one. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so. <Boom. laughs> Oh, and that'll also Too include easy. a man challenge. It'll also include a man challenge token as There'll well. Be a man so challenge. Two hundred and eighty dollars worth of uh, worth of product and the man challenge token. So Boom. get into it. Oh, our peck made it up the hill today. Finally, oh, get in our peck. Our peck's kicking some goals, mate. Uh, GG, Peckstar. Peckstar does some funny photoshops for us. Um, I put oh, I put I put one up on the um on the man talk uh, Insta page. The Savo. Uh, bring it up. Bring it up. That okay, so let me find funny. it. Let me find it. Uh, yeah, Pixar does some funny photoshops for us. So um, 
Pixar made it up the hill today. Get in, Pixar. Well done, mate. <laughs> Be- Bezo told you to shut up and read chat, Lloyd, because you're, <laughs> you're just talking so much, man. I like... know, right? Oh, I've got a problem. <laughs> oh. Let's yeah, see. We... Let's see if I can do this seamless. We'll see how we go here. Stranger, <laughs> Str- Stranger things have happened. I keep talking. Oh, that was a good show. Yeah, keep talking while I'm doing shit. What are you I doing? Have, I have picked a guy, by the way. Okay. Uh, have you picked one for a token, or have you just picked I've, one? In... I've picked one for a token, and I don't know if he's got—I don't know if he's got one already. But I know he's a legend. He's a legend on all of our bloody socials and man shaker, man shake man, everything. And uh, he was also part of your uh, YouTube tonight, by the way. Oh, Ash. get in. Oh, Mr. Jade Grice. Hey, GG Jade. He gets a token. Hey, buddy. He probably hasn't got one because he bought like 11 bags of birthday cake. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's, a, there's a shortage spoiler, for it. Spoiler alert if you haven't watched uh, Ash's video tonight, by the way. <laughs> Honestly, check it out. Uh, it's on my, uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, I have a sit down chat with. Um, uh, Jade about his weight loss. He's lost like 50 kilos. He gives us insight on how he did it, and you know just uh, what it, what it, what it's like to lose weight that much weight. So uh, congratulations! I love it. Love him in chat. Oh, that's me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes so how is. many tokens do we have left? Do we have one left? That's, nah, that's, that's it. it. Oh, that's is it all gone? Is it? Oh, oh fuck it. But you, you've known anyone that you got anyone else, Tim? Fuck it. No, I was just gonna. Okay. I was just gonna say. I if, I thought we had one left, but I was gonna pose an interesting. If question you've missed, that. if you've missed out tonight, right? If you missed out tonight, go on the Man Shakers page and send us like a. It doesn't have to be long. It only has to be a few seconds. A um, how you shake your shakers, and uh, the funnier, the better, and okay. uh, we'll pick a winner. Do you take your time? Do you caress it. it with love? I. I Crack I'm, open a coconut. Shake it. a coconut. Yeah. I'm going to have um, some to give away uh, on Wednesday night on my Twitch. So if you're coming on Wednesday night, I'll have some to give away as well. Don't scoff at me, fucking Ash. You sit there and drink your fucking drink and shut up. <laughs> oh, no. I was just scoffing nah, at you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, nah, fuck off. Have, have, you, have, you got, have you got one you can spare, Jed? Have you got one you can spare? This is yeah. A constant yep. giveaway. This I got a question then. I got a question to win one more token. We got one to spare. To spare. What, you're one to spare. spare. Okay, cool. <laughs> Dear chat. Hold on, hold what on. Is... Wait a second. Wait a second, Tim. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Okay, chat. Here we go. Fuck's we sake. want the best question, or we want you to suggest a question for us to ask Adam McDougall when he finally comes on Man Talk, and we will pick the best question submitted, and they will win. You mean this guy right here? Yeah, that guy right there. That guy right there. there. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just check him. Just you've, check got, him. you've got five minutes to get your question in chat. Just check him. Yeah. There you go. Thank. I swear, if someone does like a transcript of this thing, the, the word giveaway will show up like probably about 70 times. It's a giveaway. <laughs> it's a giveaway. Give okay, cool. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. All right. Yeah, um, right. There you go. Uh, Lloyd, you, you got a yes. song lined up, mate? You got a song lined up? I do have a song lined up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to this morning. I was like, ah, oh, shit. I haven't even thought of a song today tonight. <laughs> Uh, I've got one. Okay. I've got one. Ready, ready to roll. All right. Ready we want to we want to run that while people are thinking of questions and that. We want to. Oh sure. Why not? You want to do that? Oh jeez. Um, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We got a question here from Ted. Did you guys know that the Manshake does a special deal for veterans? Worth mentioning if you know any vets who want to lose the kilos. Oh wow. I did not know that. That's all. Awesome. I didn't know that either. Didn't know that. How how does one claim those um discounts, Ted? Because I have no idea. Mm. Uh, Al, I did bring up the pick, mate. I did bring up the pick. You must did, have missed did, it. Is that a question? Is it, did you guys know, as in, like, do you guys know whether they do it? Or do you, did you know, as in, like, they actually do? Like, because, I don't know, that's a bit of, the way I read that, it was pretty ambiguous. <laughs> um, I, like... they do a, I know a lot of places do veterans discounts, like super, like uh, shopping centers have um, discount cart, like discounts for um, veterans and stuff like that. So, Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility. There you go. Cool. Yeah. All right. Scoopgate. What did Scoopgate? What yeah. did Scoop, Scoopgate? I like that one. Um, I still use the old um, clear scoops. Just quietly, chat. I I've got a heap in a cupboard. I still use those. If it's not broke, don't. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, I don't know. I think they were incorrect because the old scoops were bigger, and they said use the water, and the scoops weren't in 
simpatico, I think. Anyway. Uh, all right, let's go Lloyd. Bang. Don't ask me if you know it's true. Don't have to tell you well, I love your precious heart And I I was standing You were there Two worlds collided And they could never Tear us apart Lloyd, I've got a question for you, bro. Yeah, buddy. Can we have sex? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, Lloyd, you I'm, actually, ch- ch- I'm, I'm actually more open to hearing that answer than I thought he was going to ask. Hey, hey, Lloyd, can you play some Snow Patrol? <laughs> <laughs> actually, and also I picked the winner for the question as well, okay, cool. and I actually really like it. I'd like to say I'd like to say Simon Taylor. Uh, what, what question? When you started the man shake? Did you think that it would reach as many blokes as as it has? I think that would be a fucking amazing question to ask Dukes. Okay. So congratulations, Simon. You got one. Boom. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> Bang. So Lloyd. Yeah. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> He's, he is a very attractive man, but unfortunately, I uh, I don't swing that way. I'm afraid, Timmy. Chad, Sorry, buddy. Chad, you should have seen our private conversation today. It was disgraceful. <laughs> I just yeah. I checked yeah. out. I just went. Mm, I'm out. <laughs> I, I put just, a I put a Blink One Eight Two what WTF gif in there and fucking bailed. Like you can was, you yeah. can thank Pexter for that because <laughs> did post a picture of the Matrix and I did have boobies, so yeah, it's understandable. Hey, Mr. Uh, Jared, <laughs> Mr. Betson, I'm saying what's what's happens in chat stays in chat, Mr. Betson. Jared, I think <laughs> I think we should uh, show that video that Drew just sent us in a private chat. I think yeah. you should check your phone. You should check your Facebook messages right, okay. and uh, I'm checking, put I'm that checking. bad boy up. I'm checking. I'm checking. <sighs> Probably without volume because I don't, I didn't actually listen to it with volume, so I don't know if there's anything I've seen in it. Oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> no, that's too spicy. I'm not. No. It's so. No, nah, that's it's too so spicy. Uh, you save that for. Save that for something I'm not in control of. <laughs> save that for only fans. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to play some Snow Patrol next week, Lloyd? That, Hold on. Do oh, I? Yeah. Drew, that's way too spicy, Darwin. buddy. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. slow down, slow down, slow down. Darwin says he needs some advice. So, uh, Darwin, I'm happy to uh, wait for your question, mate. What, what's going on? Are you all right? He's, uh says, guys, I need some advice. And then it's just bang. bang. <laughs> We're going to wait for you. It's either going to be a really honest question or it's going to be a rickroll. Yeah. Why do you guys, why do you guys suck so badly? Why, this you, street sucks. why are you guys terrible? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, talk up late. I, I, that that late would, that was too rude for even that. that that's the hot dogs would not have gone anywhere near that. Mm. We can we can uh, we can show that video in the um in the after show. Mm. We can do it in the after Probably. show, Jed. Okay, what's David doing? What's what? What are we up to? Yeah, we're waiting for David. 
So I guys, while, while while we're talking about nothing, what do you think? Do you think do you think the purple or should I go blue? Like do you? I, I, I think call... what I think whatever you feel comfortable with, bro. Like mother bit of gold. I don't know. I like that one. Why don't you try blue and gold? You're not going to see those colors around much longer. Oh yeah, Mister Maroon. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, we won something. We got the spoon, baby. <laughs> baby. Mm. Oh yeah. Is it worth oh. me joining Man Shakers even though I'm a girl? No, just we we we've sort of said that we don't we're not allowing um, females into man into the Man Shakers because um, blokes put up a lot of personal stuff and we just like to keep it um, for blokes to feel comfortable in putting uh, like shirtless photos and stuff like that up. Um, there is a the the um, the Lady Shake do have a Facebook group that you can contribute to and get involved with. Um, but we sort of drew a line and said no, just just to keep all the blokes in there comfortable. I'm, I apologise. Hey, um, uh, Bezo, are you able to bring up a link for the lady, Lady Shake? Um, I um, yeah, we really, we really want to um, we really, I would really love to do an episode of Man Talk where we speak to some of the ladies from the Lady Shake Facebook group and just see some of their success stories because we we know all of ours, we we see all the guys all the time, but I'd love to give the ladies some. Them, uh, oh, that's not going to sound Rock too Malone, good. the Lady Club. The lady club. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, like, give the ladies some love, but that doesn't sound very good. No. Um, but yeah, like, I'd just like to spotlight some of the women and some of the successes they've had on that page as well. So, because I mean, I, I, yeah, we don't see as much of it as we do, you know, um, the the man shake success. So it'd be good to celebrate that too. Well, that's because we're in this ecosystem. We're not. If we're in the Lady Shake ecosystem, then we yeah, would yeah, probably I see it. You know what I mean? It'd still be nice to spotlight it. So. So yeah. we, while we're waiting for Darwood, we've had another question from Michael come in. He goes, mentally, if you're having a bad day, what motivates you? Because some days you huddle, some days you huddle getting kids ready for uh, school, partners, work, etc. COVID, and I'm just, and it's just like, gah. So um, how do you get yourself motivated, boys? It's a hard one. Yeah, it is tough. You, I actually yeah, had I, a message. I'm oh, sorry. I guess it's different for everyone, my man. Mm. And yeah. like for me, at least, I need to start the day strong. I need to start the day right. And if if I skip that first shake and I have something else, that's my entire day. Like my whole routine is out of yeah. whack, and I find it very hard to get back in line. So, if you're having a hard day, a hard time getting motivated, um, I would recommend if you if it's like one of those situations where you're having a hard time getting out of bed because you want to get up early, go for a walk, or do something like that, I would say have within very quick access a picture of you when you just hate the way you look mm -hmm. right have that somewhere where you can just open up a folder in your gallery and bang you look at it right there and if that's not inspiration enough for you maybe um you know write down emotionally how you're feeling at your worst and have that list readily available to read as well so mm. yeah good ones, if, um, good ones putting it on the bathroom mirror you mm -hmm. look in the look at yourself in the morning every day have a nice mm. picture that goes Fuck, I don't want to be that guy anymore. Let's get out yeah. and smash it. I was, um, I got a message today from a lovely gentleman. I won't name him. Um, he said he was lacking a bit of motivation and couldn't. He asked me, how did I keep going and how did I, you know? And I said, what you need to do is work out why you want to do this and the reasons and write them down. I said, for me, it was my family and my wife. I wanted to be around as long as I could for them. And, and then he proceeded to send me a photo of his two adorable children. I said, mate, there's two fucking reasons right there why you should try and give it a red hot go and be around here because your kids want their dad to get older and you want to see your kids grow up and you want to eventually one day see your grandkids. Like that's yeah. So you got to think of what you actually want. Do you want a pizza or do you want to, you want to sit on the couch and not do anything and have fucking chips and lollies at midnight or do you want to be around to see your kids get older? For me, it was <sighs> an easy decision. I hate that feeling like when you wake up in the morning and you've just, you've gone to bed at like, 10 30 at night and you've smashed like a fucking bag of chips or a bag of lollies and you wake up the next morning and you just feel like shit and you just go like why why did i do that you know like why did i stuff that food in my mouth for a couple of minutes of you know satisfaction and then like next morning when i just know i'm gonna feel shit and actually oh, I hate very that. interesting you said that because um brock was in last night um brock was in um in jerville last night and brock said it was like midnight, and Brock said, "I've got the midnight munchies." He said, "See you guys, I'm going to go to bed." So he yeah. knew he knew that uh, water wasn't going to do it for him. Or sorry, Brock, if I've outed you, sorry, mate. I figured Brock wouldn't care. Um, Brock, Brock said, I'm, "I'm hungry. I've got the midnight munchies." And I said, "Me too, sort of." And, and he said, "Look, yeah. I'm just going to go to bed." He said, 
I've got an early day tomorrow. I'm just going to go to bed and fucking forget about it, wake up tomorrow and start again. And that, that was, that for him, well, I don't know if he saw it as progress, but for me, I thought that's fucking amazing progress for Brock. So GG Brock, mate. Well done on that. Yeah. GG. That's it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. We all set. We all well, done. Darwin, Darwin, thank you very much for uh, asking for help and then not uh, <laughs> saying anything. So Lou, if, you, if you want to message us, reach out. If you uh, have a question yeah. there, reach out, my man. But reach out uh, there. yeah. Um, like, and that goes to anyone. Like, I mean, um, you know, you're more than welcome to, uh, you know, message us if you have any questions, queries, dramas, or issues. And, um, I'm, uh, if I'm struggling, I jump into this group and, uh, motivates me. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Daniel. Like, I mean, you can find your motivation anywhere, my, my man. So if it's through the group or through these chats or anything like that, I'm happy you uh, draw some motivation from it. But, uh, for all those who aren't on it, jump on the man shakers, uh, Facebook group. We are the admins there. Same with the man shake. There is also, we, they do giveaways, you know, share your story, show your progress shots. If you're just starting, you know, post up an introduction, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be amazed on how much support you're going to get from dozens and or th- over 1,800 like-minded dudes out there. I who can't just believe want to do nothing many, but help you. I can't believe yeah. how many members we've gotten in like a month. That's insane. Mm. 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 Yeah. That's exactly. Right. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. You can message Lloyd Brock or you can message me, mate. We'll sort you out, buddy. Don't stress about it. We're on the case, mate. We're on the case. We're good. I've got your details there. You're ready right. to and go, just, uh, and just on a side note, like if you do message us and we don't get back to you straight away, like we, you know, uh, we're trying our best. We are a little bit busy outside of like the podcast with our normal lives, but we will get back to you when we can. We promise we mm. will. So yeah, cool. I'm usually very quick. Um, unless obviously, yeah, we're doing stuff. So normally I'm pretty quick if, um, anyone wants anything, but we heard, we heard that about you, Jed. <laughs> not, as quick, not as quick as I used to be. Hey, yo. Oh, okay. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. All right. That's cool. Okay. We're done. We're almost on time today. Bang. Look at this. We're growing. Oh, everyone's saying one more song. They want one more song. What do you got? What do you, oh. what do you got, Lloyd? You got one more? You don't have to play it. You can play something that you've already played before. I'd, I'd, really? Yeah. Go for it, man. Go for it. Any requests? Um, I can't th- even through, through the Fire and Flames. Anything yes. but Snow Patrol. <laughs> Just do a bit Through of that. Just do, just do, just do, just noodle man, some of that. She used to be. Like, uh, we'll go back to Lloyd. Um, hey, what she used to be. We, we're gonna, we're gonna say goodbye. Uh, Lloyd's gonna lead us out. So uh, take it easy, chat. Fat guy, do your thing. I love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. Uber, dictator Uber, do your thing. Come and check us out at the after show on my Twitch channel after we finish the podcast. But that's where you'll find me and the lads. So. You can oh, Incubus Drive. Also oh, check so... out my Twitch. I'll be on there as well afterwards. Um, Lloyd, take it away, buddy. I'll catch you next week. Oh. Uh, let's go. Save me, but you. And it's strange what desires will make foolish people do. Well, I never dreamed that I know somebody like you. And I never dreamed that I need somebody like you. Thanks, guys. See you all next week. I don't think I could be left alone in the same room with you, just quietly. (laughs) One day, Tim, one day. Get a room.